Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our second edition of Inside the Nest for Baseball for the 2020-2021 year. We're joined again over the phone with 20th year head coach Mike Stockton. Coach, how are you doing today? Oh, doing great. Sun's shining. It's going to be a beautiful day for practice. Can't wait to get out there. Absolutely. Well, speaking of practice, can you run us through kind of how have the first month of workouts gone? Um, you know, just overall, give us a give us a rundown. Man, we are just so excited to be out there. Um, you know, obviously, COVID took our season away from us last spring, and you know, all summer you were in in high anticipation of what the NCAA was going to allow us to do. Are we going to be able to practice? And um, so for the last month, it's just been absolutely awesome that we've been able to get out there and, you know, get after it. So things have been great. Good deal. So you are getting ready to enter into your high risk period. You are the next round of teams, I believe. Um, what does that change for you guys? Obviously, you know, we talked last about, how baseball and, and softball as well are kind of socially distant sports in, in them, themselves. Um, so what does that change for you guys or does it change anything in how you run your practices? Well, um, I don't know that it's, it's going to change a whole lot. I haven't really put a lot of thought into it. Um, like you said, baseball just is naturally much more socially distanced than other sports. So, you know, we have really been able to run um, pretty normal practices to, to the standard that we want anyway. Um, you know, there's a few quirks here and there when you're, you know, you, we haven't been in the dugout much or at the end of practice, you know, when the team gets together and huddles and breaks it down, you know, maybe we could get in a little closer and, and do that kind of thing. But um, there, there probably could be a few drills that I could put our team in um, for us to be in closer quarters, but, you know, in, in the big picture, I don't know that it's really going to affect us a whole lot. Um, I'm sure that the guys from the, from the player perspective, I'm sure they're certainly going to be happy to not have to have a mask on all the time. Oh, absolutely. I'm sure they are. You know, that's something I've kind of thought about is if there's a silver lining of this fall, it kind of seems like those sports that, lost something in the spring or the ones that can practice semi-normally, you know, you guys in softball, tennis, golf, track, you know, a lot of your stuff is distanced anyways. And so you guys have a little more sense of normalcy than, than others. So there's a little silver lining for those that lost their spring season. Yeah, I, I'm definitely feel blessed that we're, we're getting to really run the kind of normal practice that we want to. Right. So as you move into this high risk period, um, it's a very quick three weeks um, for everybody that's already finished it. So is there anything specific you guys are going to focus on? Um, or is it really just kind of get out and, and let's see some live pitching, some live hitters, um, and just kind of get the rest off? Yeah, no, I don't think there's really going to be much, uh, much difference going on. I mean, we'll, we'll do some inner squad scrimmages and, you know, see some live pitching and things like that. But um, that's really about it. Good. So you talked a little bit about that, you know, simulating live action with outside, without outside competition this fall is probably a little bit more, more difficult. Um, you know, anything beyond just live BP, inner squads, things like that, is, is that kind of how you're, you're running things in order to see your, your pitchers in action and then see your hitters in action? Yeah, absolutely. Just some controlled inner squad situations. Um, you know, it's, yeah, we all want to play outside competition. Um, you know, again, we want to count our blessings that we're getting to do what we're getting to do right now. So, you know, you don't want to be um, – you want to stay humble there and just say thank you for this opportunity to, be, to get to practice. But, of course, the team wants to play outside competition. You know, you get tired of playing each other. Um, you know, you want, to, you want to challenge yourself. You want to – you know, line it up against some other team and see how you stack up and see how your preparation of practice has been paying off. I mean, of course, those are things that we want to do. We wish we could do. Um, and that's, that's what you're missing, really, that um, opportunity to stop playing against each other and really see how you stack up against somebody else. So there's definitely value, value there that we're missing. But you know, in the big picture, we're just happy to be out there right now. Definitely, absolutely. Well, you know, 
talk a little bit about um, your senior class. You know, you've got, we talked a little bit about two or three of the ones that are returning, um, but you got any other seniors? You know, Jade Smoot is back, Cameron Fleeg, both had, you know, big impacts last spring. Um, what are you kind of expecting out of your senior class? Yeah, well, you always expect a lot out of your senior class. Um, you know, those guys should be leading the way. And, uh, you know, but it's kind of a floating scale. COVID has absolutely thrown a, a wrench into everything, meaning that, you know, Cameron Fleeg, Jade Smoot, all of these guys, they they can return if they if they want to, if the academic piece lines up for them the way they need it to and uh, some other things line up. So, you know, all of these guys can return. So one thing that, you know, I'm doing this fall is trying to sift through, talk through all of these guys about, are you going to return or are you graduating? And so that is something that, you know, I really have to work through this fall because that impacts a lot of our recruiting for next year. We've already signed well, got verbal commitments from a handful of guys and uh, kind of depending on what this quote unquote senior class does, if they, if a, a few of them decide to come back, that impacts how we're going to recruit. If, you know, they all decide to leave, then that impacts how we're going to recruit. So that is a major thing that we're sifting through this fall and trying to get answers to from these seniors that have the opportunity to come back because of COVID again. Yeah, I think that's something that maybe a lot of people forget about. Um, you know, I think we, we recognize the, the recruiting impact, um, but I think there's also potentially a benefit if they come back, you know, just having that leadership and that experience for another year um, could potentially be a great thing. But yeah, sifting through everything, especially in, in sports like football and baseball with potentially large senior classes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, the the three that we call them super seniors right now, the three guys, um, Shane Cavallo, Max Stevenson, and Tom Henley, you know, we're we're almost positive that those guys this is gonna be their final season because they've all they were already seniors last year, right? So they're super seniors now we call them. And uh so we, we're pretty certain that this is going to be it for them so those three guys you know they're they've they're they've they've been around the block you know they know what the competition is like in the glvc they know what the demands of my program are asking of them so they really need to step up and be great leaders i you know yes covid was terrible it stinks i hated it for everybody but you know i tell these guys all the time man this was like winning the lottery all of a sudden you get to come back and try and do it again. Like that's a, that's an awesome thing. I wish I could have done that. Right. Hey, no, you, you graduated, but you get to come back and do it one more time. I mean, so I'm really trying to, you know, tell these guys just what an unbelievable opportunity they have in front of them. And that's why they need to show up every day with great attitudes and really help lead the way for this team. Absolutely. And I think that a lot of our student athletes have kind of realized that and we talked a little bit about it just last time, of how quickly it can be gone. And so a lot of them seem to be embracing the opportunity to, to kind of do it over again. Yeah. yeah and, we're, and I'm really fortunate that these three guys wanted to come back Cavallo and Henley and Stevenson. I mean, they're, they represent William Jewell baseball. Well, so, you know, for our, our, crop of our recruiting class that came in, whether they're transfers or whether they're freshmen. I mean, they really get to see uh, some, some good leadership. Definitely. We're very excited to have them back. Um, looking forward to obviously the spring season, but good luck in your high risk period and enjoy some, some somewhat normal practices over the next few weeks, coach. Yeah, I appreciate it. We're looking forward to that. It's going to be fun to, uh, well, <laughs> kind of jokingly, but not, I mean, these new players, heck, I haven't even learned their faces yet. They're covered up all the time, you know. So uh, they walk through the, the gate for practice, and I'm still not sure who's who. So it's going to be nice for them to be able to put their masks down and uh, for me to really get to know these faces. <laughs> well, that's that sounds like a really good project for you over the next few weeks, and I wish you luck in it. Yeah. <laughs> now with us for just a few minutes and talking a little baseball today, Coach. Yep, my pleasure. Have a great day.
you too.